2020 Yu-Gi-Oh! feels a lot like 2014 Yu-Gi-Oh! where a ton of decks can compete and our favorite decks can reign supreme. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a Shadow of Deck profile that is too strong. This deck is amazing. It takes advantage of the control aspect of this format and flips it on its head. You could say that we'll be shadowing decks that want a special summon from the extra deck and preventing them from playing their game. So let's jump on in. They'll never see what I'm doing if they can't see what I look like. Shut all 101, guys. Shut all 101. Why do I got a condom on my head? The, the things we got to go through, guys. Oh, yeah. And of course, uh, for this one special time. Yeah. So the Chadol strategy in 2020 is based off of its 2014 rendition. I think it's best that I show you the combos first and then the deck profile afterward as it'll be able to explain why I play certain cards and how powerful they are. So for too long, the Shadow All strategy has been restricted to only running six fusion spell cards with Shadow All Fusion, as well as El Shadow All Fusion, unless you decided to play an Invoked Engine or Polymerization. Thanks to Riliona, not only do you get access to a Light Monster, you also get access to a fusion card, meaning that you can play upwards to 12 fusion cards inside of your Shadow deck, as well as a really good light target. This is the particular standard combo if you just so happen to draw Shadow All Squamata or Shadow All Windy as well as Riliona. First thing you're going to do is normal summon Riliona, activating its effect. Add Magistus Invocation from your deck to your hand and activate it. Fuse Riliona and your Squamata or Windy into El Shadal Construct, activating Construct effect and your Graveyard effect. So no matter what, you are going to send Shadal Squamata from your deck to the graveyard, but I'm also going to send Rest Shadal Windy and Rest Shadal Incarnation. Trigger the effect of Rest Shadal Windy. Special summon Nel Shadal Ariel phase down to your side of the field and then link off El Shadal Construct. Link summon into Gravity Controller. If you have a different Shadal spell or trap card in your graveyard you want to add, go ahead and activate Construct to add it. And now we activate Rest Shadal Incarnation, banishing the Incarnation and the Construct, flipping our Ariel face up which will trigger the effect of Ariel to Special Summon Construct. Activate the effect of El Shadal Construct to send Shadal Schism from your deck to the graveyard. Link away El Shadal Construct and Ariel. Link Summon IP Masquerina to your side of the field. Then trigger the effect of Construct to be able to add Schism. And with two cards in your hand, you actually have a really deadly board. Shadal Schism can banish a Shadal card and a Dark card on your opponent's turn to be able to Special Summon El Shadal Winda. And you also have the ability of IP Masquerina to link off your window or your gravity controller into a monster like Nightmare Unicorn. Now, you could play Apollosa Bow of the Goddess, which means you'd be able to make a three negate Apollosa with this particular combo, as well as being able to disrupt, disrupt your opponent through the effects of an El Shadal Apcolone if you so choose, and draw and discard a card. But unfortunately, Apollosa isn't an amazing card right now. I actually have a video talking about Yu-Gi-Oh cards that just aren't so hot right now. Here's a video if you want to check it out, and uh, she's one of them. But again, this is the bread and butter, preventing your opponent from special summoning or just having the option to fusion summon on your opponent's turn, as well as a free disruption as you need is what should all can do going first. Now also thanks to the Genesis Impact set, Mathematician as well as a fusion card becomes the exact same combo. Normal summon Mathematician. Send Shadal Hedgehog from your deck to your graveyard, activating its effect. Add Shadal Squamata or Windy. Link off Mathematician into your Artemis, the Magistus Moon Maiden. Then activate your Shell Shadal Fusion. El Shadal Fusion will fuse Artemis and your Squamata. Fusion summon into Construct, Construct Chain Link 1, Squamata Chain Link 2. I'll send Rest Shadal Windy and Rest Shadal Fusion. Trigger the effect of Windy. Special summon Ariel to your side of the field, then link off the Construct. Link into a Gravity Controller. This time I can trigger Construct effect to be able to add that El Shadal Fusion from my graveyard to my hand. Banish Rest Shadal Incarnation and the Construct to flip up the Ariel. Then trigger the Ariel to special summon the Construct. Construct effect to be able to send Shadal Schism. Then Ariel plus Construct into a link. For that IP Masquerina, trigger the effect of Construct again to add Shadal Schism. So the reason why this combo isn't as good as the Riona combo is because you need to have a Fusion card in your hand, which means you have to increase the ratio of Fusion cards and that typically doesn't work out. I like to stake at a solid number of fusion cards so you don't open too many, um, but the combo is still really good as it can get you a schism to go to fusion.
fusion summon and then you can even follow up with El Shadal fusion if that was the fusion card of your choice. So the next combo I'm going to show you is the reason why this deck is just so good going second. Even without your opponent having an extra deck monster, this deck can OTK. I'm going to need a way to fusion summon or the other Magistus spell card that I play inside of this deck. I'll show you in the combo as well as Shadal Skomata or Windy and of course Riliona. The first thing I'm going to do is normal summon Riliona and if I already have the search or the special summon spell card then I'll add a fusion card but this time around I don't so I'll add Vrista from my deck to my hand Vrita from my deck to my hand I'll activate Shadal Fusion fusing Riliona and Squamata fusion summon into El Shadal Construct triggering the effect of Squamata in Construct I'm gonna send Windy and Rest Shadal Incarnation from the deck to the graveyard Windy's effect will special summon Nail Shadal Ariel instead of making Gravity Controller I'll actually activate that Vrita to be able to special summon Riliona to the side of the field and link these two cards off I'll link Construct and Riliona off for Cross Sheep triggering the effect of construct if applicable this time around i'm gonna add shut all fusion and then i'm gonna add rest shut all incarnation to be able to banish itself and construct to flip nail shut all aerial face up special summon the construct to where cross sheep points to and also triggering the effect of cross sheep uh, there are so many ways to do this if there are multiple spell cards in the graveyard i like to spell summon really on it to go for selene but this time around that's not necessarily applicable so special summoning a flip effect monster to your side of the field is the best bet i'll trigger the effect of construct to send el shadal fusion from my deck to the graveyard and then i will link both rest shadal windy and ariel i'll link summon into shadal construct shadal construct will fusion both el shadal construct and herself into app cologne activate its effect to negate a card if applicable and also trigger the effect of construct to add El Shadal Fusion from my graveyard to my hand. Lastly, we'll activate the effect of Shadal Construct, ditching Shadal Fusion from the hand to the graveyard, and then linking off both Cross Sheep and Construct. We'll link summon into an Access Code Talker. He will target a Cross Sheep or El Shadal or Shadal Construct to be able to gain 2,000 attack. He's going to be 4,300. App Cologne's going to be 2,500. That's a grand total of 6,800. But wait, of course, this. There's more. Not only can Access Code Talker destroy two more cards on the field, after I finish tacking with both App Cologne and Access Code Talker, I can activate El Shadal Fusion to fuse both of these bad puppies. To fusion summon Winded to my side of the field during the battle phase to attack for an additional 2200 damage, that is enough for an OTK. Keep in mind, even if that doesn't work out, I still have the effect of App Cologne. I can add Schism and discard another card from my deck to my or from my hand to the graveyard, or I can add Hedgehog and discard it to get a free search. It does not matter, however you see fit. That's pretty much how we play a slow base control deck in 2020 format with how to push for game. Now I'm going to be able to show you this deck profile because it is sauce. All right, guys. So moving on to the deck profile, we have some insane Shadow monsters to talk about. Three copies of Squadall. Squadall. <laughs> Squadall. <laughs> Three copies of Squamata. How Squamata, as I like to say. Squamata is probably the best shuttle in the deck as it allows you to send any shuttle from your deck to the graveyard. And its flip effect to destroy monsters actually comes up. Who would have known in 2020? That's really important for getting rid of monsters. Uh, next is Shuttle, Rest Shuttle, Windy. This card is really good because, you know, she likes to blow trees. Basically, Windy allows you to special summon shuttle monsters from your deck to your side of the field. These are the most important shuttle monsters as opening these plus a light light monster gets you pretty much full combo going first and when you're going second it allows you to extend for your plates two copies of nail shut all aerial this card is actually really good it's amazing against decks like dry train and outlitch allowing you to banish their important cards in the graveyard and saying that we have access to this card on our opponent's turn a lot of times we can get a triple dd crow during their turn which is normally gg next is two copies of shut all hedgehog sonic became real dark over here you can call him shadow he allows you to search a shuttle card or a spell or trap card really good the one of shuttle monsters or one copy of falco that's great for the grind, grind game one copy of shuttle beast this card's amazing for the grind game and lastly one copy of shuttle dragon this card is a card that i really feel like you can run multiple copies of mainly because its flip effect which this deck takes advantage of can bounce monsters but as well as its spell and trap disruption deck where in a control based format being able to destroy spells and trap cards is really good unfortunately i only play one because i had to make room for quad shell chaos it's the card that you don't want in your deck and i bet you that would prompt the reason why would i run it well because it's a light target and this deck is starred for light targets hedgehog can search a 
pretty much a light shuttle target and getting to construct is that important moving on we do have some normal summonables in this deck and the most important normal summon is Riliona the Magistus Bear this is literally the most important non shed all card in the deck the reason why she is so important is because upon her normal summon she can allow you to add one magic to spell or trap card from your deck to your hand which is going to be either your fusion spell meaning you have quick access to a fusion card but also a card that allows you to special summon her back to the side of the field in case you want to extend your plays the next cool thing is that she can return level four or lower spellcaster monsters that are banished back into your graveyard that can actually pop up if you're trying to go for some extended plays we only run one copy of mathematician and this card is amazing in the opening game but i don't think it's great in the grind game or in the late game mainly because there's not really any shut all monsters you'd want to send we run five foolish burials in this deck i think six seven and eight were just a little unnecessary moving on to the spells we run three copies of probably the best fusion spell in the entire Yu-Gi-Oh game shut all fusion allows you to fuse for a shut all monster but of course if your opponent controls a monster that was special summon from the extra deck you can use monsters from your main deck which means you have access to all of your shut all effects three copies of el shadow fusion this card is actually a trap just as much as it is a spell mainly because you can fusion summon on your opponent's turn meaning that you can take your time with your shadow schism maybe make an app cologne to be able to disrupt an opponent's effect monster or make a construct to send another shadow card from your deck to the graveyard and then follow up with el shadow fusion to be able to fuse into the shadow monster you want to only one copy of Magistus Invocation. So basically, if you run anything over 10 copies of one card, then you're probably in trouble. You greatly increase the odds of you opening multiple copies of a fusion spell card. And technically, I run 10 copies between the Invocation, three El Shadals, and one Shadal Fusion, and of course, my three copies of Riliona. I didn't want to open multiple fusion spell cards, but I obviously wanted to see a fusion spell card. I found out through probability calculation that if you want only want to open one card consistently 10 copies of one card is is, is this nice spot next is the Magistus Rita the cool thing I like about Riliona in this deck is that if you already open a fusion card these cards become immediately something else instead of 10 fusion spell cards it becomes an extender and of course call by the grave and foolish burial now call by the grave is that flex spot you can play anything as opposed to call by the grave if you so see fit that's it for these spells moving on to the traps three copies of the best trap in Yu-Gi-Oh! Solemn Strike stops hand traps and stops critical summons. It's amazing. Three copies of Sinister Shadow Games. This card is amazing. Sinister Shadow Games not only is a foolish barrier allowing you to send a Shadow card from your deck to the graveyard, it can flip your Shadow monsters face down to face up, which could trigger their flip effects effects. Flip effects effects. You get what I'm saying. The really cool thing is if your opponent doesn't have any further interruptions, you can activate Sinister Shadow Games, send a card like Windy or Squamata or whatever you need, flip a card like Squamata, gain a disruption, and then on your turn, you can fuse with them and gain their effects again. Next is two copies of Ice Dragon's Prison. Understandable if you guys cannot afford this card, I have a budget option. If you guys cannot afford Ice Dragon's Prison, then Paleozoic Dynamiscus is actually a pretty good substitute. It does target, but the cool thing about it is that it discards on resolution, which could trigger your Shadow All Monsters effects. Instead of Torrential Tribute, I actually run two copies of Needle Sealing. I find this card to be hilarious in this deck. So Needle Sealing is really good in here because it destroys all face-up monsters on the field and your Shadow All Monsters are face down a lot of the time so essentially you contribute to the four monster requirement to destroy all monsters on the field but you don't lose any monsters when you play needle ceiling i also love that needle ceiling can be activated at any given time making it a perfect target for trap trick as opposed to torrential tribute but again if you guys prefer torrential tribute was the card that i originally thought that this slot would have been two copies of track trick this is a card that is um I'm having decent results with it. The thing that I love the most about Trap Trick is that it can set Needle Sealing, Ice Dragon's Prison, and Sinister Shadow Games. All three of these cards can be activated whenever I want to, meaning that Trap Trick becomes that much more valuable. But of course, if you guys don't like Trap Trick, I've been playtesting with Dimensional Barrier inside of the main board. This card is too strong, and you should pretty much know why. And the last two trap cards to make this a 42 card deck one copy of schism and one copy of rest shut all incarnation if you guys cannot afford schism then i suggest that you get a schism seriously the reason why i'm saying this is because when schism made its debut it was a four dollar card then it became a seven dollar card it is currently a 15 dollar Yu-Gi-Oh card with no signs of slowing down if you think you can't afford it now wait till this deck gets even more popular 
So I'm not telling you to use your stimulus check or sell a kidney to get shut all schism, but I mean, there's always the 2021 Megatons, I, I think, maybe. Uh, sell your kidney though, seriously. Moving on towards the extra deck, we're gonna wrap this up really quick. Uh, one copy of Excess Cold Talker, one copy of Unicorn, one Selene. You can drop this card, she's not really amazing. And if you guys wanted to play Apollos of Bow of the Goddess, that's fine. Also for Axis Kill Talker, you can play Apollos of Bow of the Goddess or Pearl Sword Dragon if you can't afford it. One copy of Shut All Construct, one Cross Sheep, one Artemis. Buy this Yu-Gi-Oh card, guys. Buy it. Uh, one copy of IP Mascarena, Gravity Controller. I'm not 100 sure what I want to do for my fusions. Currently, I run three Construct. I want to drop it down to two. But let's just take a second to admire that these are three ultimate first Constructs. Uh, two copies of App Cologne and two copies of Shawl Window. Well, that is all for Shadows in the 2020 format, making a reference throwback to 2014. Shadow is back into the Yu-Gi-Oh! contention meta, is ready and is ready to take some names. What is wrong with me? Also, if you want to see more awesome Cali Effect content, then I mean, there's two videos right there. You might as well just click on one of them. I mean, what else are you doing right now? Click on the video and I'll catch you on the next video because you clicked on it. You did it now.